Alright, this is another video response to somebody, you know, wrote me a message. Um, he's asking me, you know, about explaining how to see the ego and, and see yourself not being a part of it. And basically he explained his own experience of where he felt that he had that experience, like a mini experience um, of identifying the ego and dropping the competition mindset and, you know, just having a mini realization. And yes, that was a mini realization based on what he uh, said. All right, so yes, you know, what you, the ego from day to day, when you start to identify, you'll see what it does. It's just crazy the way, the way it works. Is is always comparing, always competing, always looking in the past, always looking in the future. So anything that has anything to do with comparison, you could you could you could be assured that is the ego speaking. All right. So say you're walking out there and you're like a martial artist and you're like, hey, you know, thinking highly of yourself. Like yeah, I've been training all this time and I'm so great. And then you look at other people and be like, yeah, you know, I could probably beat him up. I could probably beat him up. Yeah, I could probably beat him up too. That is your ego speaking. All right. Say you're like going out there and you're like, you know, you got, you know, you just, you just worked out a lot and you just got the abs. You know, you got these washboard abs and. And you feeling good about yourself. You see other people that are a little overweight, and you kind of smile and you say, "Hey, you know, I look a lot better than this person." That is the ego speaking. All right. Say you go to the gym, and you see the gym is full of the ego. If you want to know what ego is, go to the gym, and you'll see it. You go to the gym, you go to the weight room, you see people working now, and everybody's all walking around with poofed up chests and just basically looking at themselves in the mirror and flexing and just basically. You know, strutting around like they're like they're the bomb or something like they're like that they're they're God. That is the ego. All right, that's them and the ego. All right. Um, anytime you compare, like it, it comes with anything. Say you're with a woman, and you're walking in the street, you're holding hands, and you feel good, and you basically want other people to see that you're with a woman. That is the ego. Say you got a beautiful lady in your car, and she's walk. You know, she's in your car on the driver's side and you're driving around just happy that she's with you and other people can see her with you that's the ego say you're driving a mercedes and you want people to see the mercedes and that you're driving the mercedes that's the ego or say you have some kids and and you, you know you go you go around and you see other people that don't have kids and you feel good about yourself that's the ego so basically the ego is always trying to make itself feel like you are above other people. And then it goes the other way too. If any time that you feel inferior, you feel that you're not as good as somebody else because of whatever reason, that's the ego as well. Somebody has kids and you feel like crap because you don't, that's the ego. You know, you're single and you're, all your friends around you are getting married and, and doing all this stuff and you're not, you feel that you're a loser because you're single, that's the ego. Your friends just got a nice job and he's getting paid like eighty thousand dollars a year and you you're getting paid twenty thousand dollars a year and you you don't feel too good about that. That's the ego. Alright, so the ego is always comparing, the ego is always looking in the past. If you're if like say you're reminiscing about your back your your high school days and how you used to be in shape, that's the ego. You know, say you're you know, reminiscing about the time that you used to have, you know, with your ex-girlfriend in high school, that's the ego. Say you're thinking in the future, you're like, you know, I, I really want to get in, um, lose 30 pounds from now, I really have to do it, that's the ego. Alright, say you're like, anytime you're thinking, where, where am I going to be five years from now? What am I going to be doing? That's the ego. All right. So anytime you think in the future, anytime you think in the past, that is all ego. All right. Enlightenment basically is learning to identify the ego, not being a slave to the ego. And so, you know, say you're watching, um, you know, you're watching TV, and you see like, like UFC or whatever MMA fighters in the ring, and they're fighting. And then you're like, oh, you know, I want to fight in there too. I got to start training to fight in the, in the ring as well. That's the ego. So being a slave to the ego is, being, is allowing yourself to be drawn to that. And then now you make that your goal to do that. 
and then now you're in the gym training for that you were a slave to the ego alright so what you want to learn to do is identify this ego and no longer be a slave to it you become a master over it so once you identify it and you say hey you know you see this this MMA fighting thing and you're like you know the ego says hey you know I gotta do that you know I gotta get some fame you know these these people got all these women they got all this money you know this is what you want so we want you to work hard towards that that's what the ego is telling you but if you're a master over the ego you'd be like you know what you, sh you tell the ego to shut the hell up and you're gonna do what you really want to do you know what you really want to do from within the heart you don't listen to the ego so you just cut that ego off and to even make it harder for the ego to influence you you just cut off that that um, competition fight you just don't even watch it so then the ego can't be influenced by it you know because the ego is going to be influenced by many different things all right so you could cut off the, the advertisements. The, all the advertisements out there are all directed towards the ego. You see when you're on Facebook or whatever, you see the side ads. They show a guy with like washboard abs, you know, probably airbrushed by um, technology or whatever. And then they, 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 they speak to your ego. Say, hey, you know, you got to take this supplement if you want to get abs like this. And then you, you're being a slave to the ego, you go to the store and you buy that supplement like an idiot. That's the ego. That's being a slave to the ego. Being a master over the ego is basically like, just don't even looking at that, don't even bother to look at that ad and just be like, that, that ad is a hunk of junk. You know, that's not even real. Let me see somebody in front of my face that has abs like that. That's just a picture. That's nothing. You know, and, and you know what? I'm not going to work out to get abs like that. I'm just going to work out because I like to work out. If I get abs like that, then I'll get abs like that. If I don't, I don't. I don't care. That is being a master over the ego. Alright, so being a master over the ego is when you're walking down the street and you see people that are fatter than you or whatever, out of shape or unfit, and you don't look down on them. You don't be like, oh, I'm better than you because I'm in shape. You just look and they be like, hey, you know, this, guy, this guy's, you know, is just a, a person. In shape or not in shape, big deal, whatever. It's, you know, the ego is like, you know, comparing all the time. Oh, you know, somebody's driving that with a Ferrari down the street and then the ego is like, wow, that's such a nice car. You know, I, I wish I had that car. That's the ego. Somebody that's a master over the ego, just be like, hey, you know, that's just, it's just a machine. Who, not a big deal. It, it doesn't make any difference to me. That's the car. That's a car. That's a car. Okay. Oh, well. That, that's being a master. Just basically be, you know what? A car is a car, a human being is a human being, a tree is a tree, you know, it's nothing really, you know, it's just basically you see things in just more clear. You don't really allow yourself to be drawn and influenced by things like that's out of your control. You know, you're just basically like treating people as equal. You, you, you see a fat person and you see a, a la athletic person and you see a skinny person. You treat them all with respect. You don't disrespect the fat person and then you bow down to the ath athlete, you know, and then you make fun to, of the skinny person. You just treat them all with respect. That's being a master, to, you know, over the ego. The ego is going to make fun of the fat person. The ego is going to praise the athlete for being in such great shape. Or, or not even praise, but maybe be jealous and envious towards the athlete. That's the ego. All right? And then the ego is just always constantly comparing. Always trying to make you feel that you're not good enough right now. Being a master of the ego basically lets you know that, hey, you're perfect the way you are right now. And there ain't nothing else you got to worry about. You're straight. You know, okay, everything's cool. But being a slave is when you're just constantly unhappy because you want to be somewhere else or you want to do something else. All right, you're at you're at your workplace and you're doing something, and then you're dreaming about working somewhere somewhere else where it pays more money or something. That's the ego speaking. The ego is always going to constantly push you to to either make more money, do more things, or find more women. You have like a a great relationship going. The ego's telling you, hey, you need you need to get more women than just one. One's not enough. You get two women, like, you know what? You need more than just two. Two is nothing. Just go for more than that. That's the ego speaking. It's never happy. Always wants more. So don't be a slave 
and be a master over the ego.